a drawing I got. I looked at this and I just really couldn't tell what they were doing. Their line types are not that easy to follow. But luckily, and this doesn't always happen, but luckily they included the layers in their drawing. I realized pretty quickly if I just turn off all these references and background layers, this is what they're trying to draw. What if I just highlight the stuff that they want me to see? Make this blue. Maybe I can make it pretty big, give it some transparency. And then I'll come in here also and circle a couple key points just to make them pop out. Now, when I turn my references back on, it's just a lot easier to be exactly how everything lays in together. This is one use case when someone gives you a drawing and there's way too much stuff on it and you're just confused about what's going on, that layers can be helpful. Another use case that I had was if you want to go in and add area measurements or even just little markups that show I paid for this. Now you can type in manhole A5. Imagine I pay for these three manholes with the pay note. I can then come in, I can add a layer, call this pay note, right click and add these to that layer. And now they're on that layer. And so I could add stuff to the layer that way, or I can add a new one. Maybe I'm going to have another pay note for end of the month, 11.1. All right, now pay note 11.1, it's gray because there's nothing on that layer. Right click and mark up layer. And now I'm going to come in and add in a couple more pay notes. This one's going to be manhole A4. And maybe I also paid for a little run of pipe in here. But now these two things are on one pay note. These three things are on a different pay note. They also show up in your markup dialog box by layer. I can sort by layer that way as well. I think for inspectors, for construction managers, this is going to be a really helpful way to sort out what was paid for because I know it can get really confusing with pay notes and you're not really remembering when you paid for it, what pay note it's on. Especially if maybe you poured one portion of sidewalk or road at one point and then you have to do that's some more of the next pay note. You're like, well, what, what limits did I go to? This could be a really helpful way to track that. What I wanted to show you was that there are a ton of layers in this drawing. I'm not using them. They're not really doing anything for me. They're just like built into the background. They were generated when this file was printed. You can come in here and right click on a group of layers and delete. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of them, right click on a group of layers and delete. And unfortunately this takes a little bit of time. Well, I guess it didn't take much time. It was just one page. If you have a big plan set, it will take some time. But that's how you can clear out all of the extra layers. All right, the last thing I wanted to show you was something that I created for a project that I thought was pretty helpful. And I put stuff on different layers. I wanted to be able to overlay some geotechnical data with my project with some walls. And I took this project map from my project, dropped and drew my walls in where I knew where they all were going to be. And then I dropped the boring information in where those were shallow, boring, deep borings. I took the aerial map. I just took a screenshot from the USDA soils map and dropped it behind there. And then I just traced in the soil boundaries. And I was able to overlay where all my walls were combined with what type of soils were around there. And then when I have them on different layers, I can easily visually turn them on or off. This is something probably little you might use on a case by case basis, depending on what you need for your project project goals. This is something that normally I would have probably done in MicroStation or, or AutoCAD, but you can actually now with Bluebeam compared to Adobe, you can do some of this stuff in Bluebeam and I think it, it works pretty well.